के लब आजाद हैं तेरे स्पीक फॉर योर लिप्स आर फ्री स्पीक योर टंग इज स्टिल योर्स Your upright body is yours. Speak life is yours. It means I have a privilege to speak and I should use that to help others. I was born in Pakistan but I grew up in Saudi Arabia. As a child, I wanted to play in the field, I wanted to go biking, I wanted to play soccer and not be told that I couldn't. Daka allowed for me to have validation. I belong here. I feel that I get the freedom to walk down the street and own my own narrative. I am home. Before Daka, I felt like i was hiding i didn't like sharing anything about my family because i was just scared 911 had just happened the police were very present in our mosque and the fbi was showing up my brother got detained on a bus because his name is mohammed i remember being 16 and just being like oh this may not work we we may be deported I was constantly looking over my shoulder while just trying to live. I always tell my family to be careful. Stop living so recklessly. Like close the door. Go home. Don't go here. Don't go there. When I first found out that Dhaka was going to end, I just didn't know if I could work. I didn't know if I could pay rent. it all kind of became a black hole when i first received daka i remember just the happiness for the first time my parents could actually see a way forward for us I work as a lead innovation designer for a global firm. I'm not showing up alone. I show up with my whole community. I show up with my grandmother. I show up with my mom. I show up with my husband and my siblings. And I carry these little prayers that my grandmother writes and like puts in my wallets and my bags. And I've had to work three times harder for everything I had. I will shout from the highest mountain there is. I want to fight this fight. because i have a voice and i've been given that because of daka my name is sana i am a daughter a wife a neighbor a friend a new yorker a manager a designer an innovator a leader undocumented mm-hmm.